Do you ever find yourself with a long overdue project that is just staring you in the face and you can't believe how long you've put it off? Well, every time it rains, I'm reminded of just how long I've been putting off fixing the potholes that are in the low spot of our driveway here. And for a guy like me that's kind of picky about his driveway, it's kind of embarrassing. So in today's video, I'm finally gonna get this all fixed up, but it might not be as simple as you think. Plus, I'm gonna address one of the most common recurring comments that I get on my YouTube channel regarding this driveway and the way it looks. So I hope that you'll stick around and check it out. Dig drive, DIY. All right, it would be easy to be tempted to just dump some stone in these holes, pack it down and call it a day, right? But it's not so simple on my driveway. You see, I've got this really small stone on top. In Indiana, they're called number 11s. Now, in Indiana, the smaller the number, the bigger the stone. So for example, these stones right here, these are number twos. They're a large stone. You can hold three or four in your hand at a time. This is what you would use for base underneath the driveway. And then the next layer up would be what we call 53s or 73s. I think they have a double number because they have powder in them. This is what'll become the bulk of your driveway. You know, the six to eight inches in the middle, above the base and below the surface. A lot of folks choose to use 53s or 73s as their surface. It's got a lot of powder in it and it can pack down really tight and almost be smooth over time. And that's okay, but it's not what I prefer. On my driveway and a lot of the driveways that I work on, I like to use a washed stone. This stone is loose on top. It allows you to grate it around easily and replace it and make it look nice all the time. Plus the loose clean stone on top keeps your tires clean. And I don't know, I just prefer it that way. Some people don't and I get that. All right, well the first thing I need to do is I need to pull back all the small stones from on top of the driveway so that I can get at the wounded area, the pothole, and then we'll dress that with a backhoe. So since the area is kind of small, I'm gonna start with the 755 and start working all those stones back. I'm gonna use the 755 just because it's so maneuverable in a tight space versus the backhoe. And I'm gonna pull that loose stone off the top and I'll pile it up out of the way somewhere so I can work here. Then when I'm all done with the driveway repair, I'll put it back on top. See how crooked the edge of this driveway is? It drives me nuts. So I'm gonna fix that up too. We're gonna do something about the edge of this driveway being so crooked. Stay tuned. So I got all that loose stone skimmed off the top and along the edge. That really goes to show you, you know, how little a load of stone will cover because this is a pretty good pile. There's probably, I would say two or three tons here. And that was just skimming off the top coat of the driveway. Now I gotta go see what Kara's doing. All right, so I realize we're a little bit more particular about our driveway than what most folks might be, but it's not all me. This one's a little picky about it too, right? And why is that? Well, because one of my jobs growing up was stringing the line and cutting it straight with a little shovel while my dad was at work, so. <laughs> oh, you did it while your dad was at work? Yes, he, we would get instructions before he left or the day before saying what our jobs were and that was one of yeah. the jobs we had to do. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you see my father-in-law's driveway and it is perfectly string line straight, literally string line straight. And that's their new house. Their old house was like that, like that too, where you grew up. Mm -hmm. So it was awesome. He had the number 11s on top, you know, the fine stone. And I was just so impressed with the way they kept their driveway. And that's the way I wanted mine to be anyway. So when we got married, one of the first things we did was tune up the driveway and we've never straightened out this edge. So when we built a shop about 10 or 11 years ago, I kind of did the edge with the intention that I was always gonna cut it out and make it perfectly straight and then I've never done it. So, and it just brings us joy to have the edges straight. And so what we've done is we've strung it out to have the best compromise. It's not perfectly straight with the edge of the field, but it's close. I will mark this with a paint mark. Then I'll take the edger and I'm gonna edge along the paint mark. Then I'm gonna take the backhoe. I'm gonna cut out right along the edge.
if you don't cut out along the edge, it's easy for weeds to grow up in there. So I like to make a, a deep cut right along the edge and it's easier to maintain. This one was never done that way. So basically the stones go right on top of the dirt like this at the very edge and it's hard to keep the weeds out of it. So I'm gonna cut it out straight like this and then fill that all in the stone. You gotta go along that edge just ever so nicely. And we're gonna take the spoils that we cut out of the edge, put them in the front loader of the John Deere 755. And hopefully I got some girls coming to help me. Shovel her in there. Holy cow, that was the most stressful thing I've ever done. <laughs> so our goal here is to maintain that edge and get the dirt out. Good job, good job. Come on up. This area here was never, we never had a good edge established, so now I'm gonna tilt the backhoe over so I cut on that edge a little bit. That one's hard to cut through. There you go. Pick up these wads of sod. A lot easier when they come out as big chunks, isn't it? Just getting this last little bit of sod out of here. Well, I'm gonna dump this last load of dirt into the dump truck. That looks pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll take that dirty stone that's left and fan it back a little bit. And once I work up the pothole spot down at the end, I'll stir that up and I'll put some of this dirty stuff in the bottom up there. All right, well, I'm going to take this dirty load of stony yuck sod grass. I'm going to take it over to work where we've got a pile started, dump it. I'm going to pick up a little bit of stone from over there at G&K, bring it back, and then we'll resume on this tomorrow. All right, well, here we are. It's the next day. It's a little gloomy, a little sprinkly and rainy. I wasn't expecting that. But what I need to do now is I'm gonna take the backhoe and I'm gonna scratch this all up. This is where the potholes were. And this is really where I wanna get into the base of the driveway. I'm gonna scratch that up to expose it. It's, think of it this way. It's like when you have to sand something down in order for paint to stick to it. It's the same thing. I'm using the one foot bucket because it's the only one that has really good teeth for digging. I think this is scratched up enough. I'm gonna start digging out this dirty stone that's along the edge, mix it in there, then I'll bring in my new stone and we'll get her fixed up. Looks like there's more rain coming. I don't want this to fill up with water, but if it gets just the right amount of water, it'll help it all pack in there really well. And I'm gonna start pulling back all of the stone away from my new edge so I can get the dirt out there and that way I can get plenty of depth and then we'll start filling this back in with good stuff. can't do this all at once. Like if I would go down the whole row and try to do it all at once, it would fill the bucket and it would be rolling over into areas that I don't want the stone to be. I like a compact tractor for this better than even a skid loader because a skid loader with all the twisting and turning action in a short distance would really get this all worked up. And the backhoe would be too big. It's just handy. I'm glad I have it.
Okay, Brutus, don't let me down. This is that uh, top down jump pack. There we go. Woo! Brutus is back. It's been a minute. All right, I'm just gonna take the grater box here with Brutus and just get this leveled up a little bit so that I can put my new stone on top. Okay, I'm gonna drop the teeth down a little bit so that I can maintain my scratched up nature. So one is level, that's one inch down. I got a setting so that the teeth are one inch below the cutting edge. And that'll just keep that all stirred up. I'm gonna get rid of big rocks, put them along the edge. Well, I got that knocked down. Okay, the majority of the stone is gonna go up here where I've got it worked up and where I've added, you know, that dirty stone. I'm also gonna use stone up against the grass to fill in that groove. And essentially that's gonna taper, hopefully taper the driveway this way, get all the water to go down here. Then it's actually, it's gonna run that way and it'll flow out that way. And primarily I just want it to get off the driveway. I don't care what it does in the yard, it'll filter into the ground a little bit better. So. If I can get this with a little bit of a slant from what right to left as we're looking at it, then at least we'll get the water off of here. That's the goal. The drainage isn't perfect around here, but everything is so flat, it's hard to ever make it perfect. Well, that's deeper than it looks. That's a few inches deep. We'll get that spread around. I got a little bit more back there. It's just in front of that black trailer up by the stone pad. I'm gonna haul that back here too. It's raining right over there. We might be getting wet here pretty quick. Okay, better hurry. This rain's not good on this camera. Got the umbrella on it though. Hopefully we'll get the perfect amount of rain. Getting that roughed in there and then I'll take the grater box and dress it up really nice. Now I'm gonna start cutting down this stone up here. I'm gonna use the 75 just because it's easier to do the fine tuning and the finesse work. But I'll be doing a lot of back and forth, not trying to move it all at once. Just moving a little bit at a time and getting that build up. Okay, we're gonna clean up this edge just a little bit because it wasn't straight. This edge isn't bad, it always holds pretty good, but I'm gonna use the baby shovel and just clean up this edge. Now I'm just gonna have to jump Brutus and then it's greater box time, it's my favorite thing. This will change a bunch in just a few minutes. All right, we're getting down to the end. I got that all graded up really nice. It's smooth. I just need to wheel pack it. That's a really important step that I, you don't want to skip. I'm going to get a load of stone in the front bucket to make the front tires really heavy. That packs those big stones down in and hopefully we got enough fluff that we can get them compressed in. And then we'll put the little stone over the top and I'll finish it all up with Brutus and the grater box. I got all this dark colored stone that's a little bit different. I'm gonna sprinkle it in and try to try to mix it all together with my existing stone. We'll see how that turns out. 
Okay, the plan is to sprinkle as much of this dark stuff around as I can to, to make the whole driveway look even. And I'm going to be so glad to have this pile out of the way. I've been driving around this pile all summer. I'm finally to the point where I can see if I can grade this up and make it look decent. This uh, dark colored stone on top is kind of making me nervous. Looks like I put the wrong kind of paint on the wall, but hopefully I can swirl it around enough to blend it together and it won't look too bad. Because if not, I gotta go get more of this stuff, I guess, to fix it. The only way to fix it is add, add more of the dark stuff, so. All right, well, I'm gonna hop on Brutus, pull that pull type grader box around, Hopefully the end result is nice. So that brings me to one of the most common recurring questions that I see in the comments in terms of our driveway and how things look. And that is, how do you keep the driveway looking so nice? And how do you keep your edges so straight? Well, mainly I use this tool. <laughs> she does a lot of the driveway work. In the summertime, it takes a lot of maintenance. So we pull weeds, we spray, we got a backpack sprayer. And one of the things that's important on a backpack sprayer, if you're gonna spray weeds, is that you don't have a big clouding mist. So the new one has too much pressure, and when you spray the ground, it, it tends to float out. So we got this shield for the sprayer, and that works wonders. Yeah, you can keep it just like perfectly straight. You gotta keep the weeds out of it, you have to maintain the edges, and you have to grade it pretty frequently. You know, I've got that little pull-type grader box behind the tractor. One of my most favorite things is grading the driveway. So she weeds it, does a lot of the edging, and I do all the grading, but it stays pretty nice. So that's the answer to our question. How do you keep the driveway looking so nice? Maintenance. You, yeah. Maintenance, you gotta work at it. It just takes a lot of work, that's all there is to it. I like to go around and just get a few of the, the biggest rocks that wound uh -huh. up. There's always a few big ones that find their way. Well, I think that edge turned out nice. Looks pretty perfect to me. I'm glad we re-edged this other side too. Yeah. Because it all goes together. Yeah, you finish one edge nice and then everything else looks like it needs to no, What? <laughs> <sighs> so, does it meet your approval? Looks great. It does? Yes, dad would be proud. So this video is just to show a little bit. We've had a, a lot of comments on the channel about our driveway and keeping the edges straight. And you know, this video is just to show what kind of effort goes into that. It is work, but you know, when you take pride in something like that, it just makes you feel good, yeah. wouldn't you say? Yeah, and to get you out, get fresh air and exercise. And it's a good chore for the girls to keep up the sticks and yeah. all that, so. So yeah. some folks might say that, that looks like a lot of work and it may not be worth it. I could see that argument, but it's more fun to stand back and look at this in my, our opinion, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. anyway, we enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you liked it. And uh, if I'm lucky, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Well, it's been about a week or so since I did the driveway and we just got a pretty significant rain and I thought I'd do a little follow-up and show you what it looks like now. So you can see where I mixed the stone and that rain really brings out the dark colored stones that are mixed in with the light colored stones. And it doesn't look too bad. It's pretty uniform actually. You can see we've had enough rain that it's pooling up a little bit there in front of the milk house. This driveway, the water has ran out. It's actually, I think, running down the driveway and around there in front of the milk house and then it runs back this way and out through the yard. But, well, this is what I was shooting for, so mission accomplished.
Now I gotta fix the other side, I guess. Just pretend you're drinking a little tea. Hmm. <laughs> what? Open. Blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs>